Hi, uh, my name is Ellis Ganesh. I am a professor in the Department of Management Studies at IIT Madras. I've had the good fortune of being associated with the VLM program, Visionary Leaders in Manufacturing, postgraduate program for executives. This, as you may know already, is India's first partnership program in higher education. It's a program that has resulted from a partnership between I IIM Calcutta, IIT Kanpur and IIT Madras. And also this program has had the blessings of the National Manufacturing Competitiveness Council. And uh, they have had uh, interactions with uh, uh, JICA, Japanese Industrial Cooperation Association or International Cooperation Association. Uh, you may know that the program is in four phases. There's one phase of uh, teaching learning happening in IIM Calcutta another phase in IIT Kanpur, a third phase in IIT Madras, and then a fourth phase where the students are taken to Japan on an industrial tour, where they get a direct experience of the kind of manufacturing technologies that are uh, being used in the country there. Why this program? Uh, well, all of us know that India has, uh, has been putting in a lot of efforts has launched several initiatives in order to have manufacturing up. Uh, we all want to see the manufacturing sector grow very strongly and robustly in our country. And uh, we want to see India emerge as a very strong uh, country in terms of manufacturing capabilities. Where are we now? It, it, well, according to all accounts, uh, we are still not up there into competitive manufacturing. We're all right. There are islands of excellence. Uh, definitely all of us are proud that there are many international quality award-winning companies in the in the country but in terms of value addition and the value chain we have a long way to go uh, this program is an attempt to respond to that situation and uh, identify fresh initiatives to sort of uh, help the manufacturing sector make quantum jumps in terms of capabilities and competitiveness and uh, the idea is to identify young talent, uh, people with some work experience, say at least five years of work experience in industry and give them a very holistic uh, learning experience in all these institutions, including the Japanese industrial visit and help them completely change their perspectives and uh, enable them to don leadership roles or become prepared for leadership roles in the manufacturing industry so that they can work to uh, help manufacturing industries scale up on their capabilities and also perhaps uh, bring about drastic, dramatic changes in the manufacturing scene. Uh, we have had quite some amount of success in the program because as far as uh, career placements of these students go, that's a strong indicator that the program is doing well because the output of this program, the student output of this program is uh, highly recognized and preferred by several top class industries in India and uh, coming from a range of sectors including the hardcore manufacturing sector and also the consulting sector. Uh, why and how should this program contribute to India's manufacturing? Uh, the idea is that when we have people with work experience, young talent who are eager to learn of newer techniques, newer concepts, newer technologies, and newer methods of management, then uh, we are actually talking about preparing this kind of young talent to take on very new roles in the manufacturing sector or related to the manufacturing sector. And that's exactly what we have been attempting to do. And uh, by the combined efforts of these three institutions, which are well coordinated, uh, to a good extent, I think the objectives of this program have been fulfilled. Will this program continue this way? Yeah, perhaps yes and no. Yes in a positive sense, no also in a positive sense. Because I foresee that in the years to come, there will be very useful changes made in this program in terms of knowledge content as well as learning experiences. Uh, the students come from all over the country and they have rich interactions. And one of the highlights of this program are the peer interactions among the students. And not only that, the, it, it seems that the students of any batch uh, are engaged with their interactions 
with students of earlier batches and are able to strike uh, good constructive relationships with them. And uh, I believe this is going to take this program a long way in terms of how it is going to contribute to India's competitiveness in the manufacturing sector. Uh, do we really believe that India can emerge to become a great hub of manufacturing? Of course, why not? It's not just hope, it's also belief that India can emerge as a great manufacturing hub. It's not that we are uh, lacking technology, it's just that there are certain uh, industrial strategies that have to emerge and uh, the young talent that we prepare is towards enabling those strategies to be realized uh, in the years to come. And uh, we can notice, and I'm sure I can make a confident prediction, that in the coming decade, the effects of this program will be felt in terms of very constructive and valuable changes in the manufacturing sector. The students will be able to contribute to identification of the kind of manufacturing technologies that will be required in India for various industrial and business sectors and also perhaps uh, promote very novel and very innovative manufacturing technologies being promoted ground up in our own country. And I believe that is going to be a very major change. And these young students, I mean talented young professionals from industry who are into this program, will have the kind of analytical power, the kind of understanding, the kind of knowledge, and most importantly, the kind of imagination and vision that is required for leadership in the manufacturing industry. I'm very confident that the Visionary Leaders in Manufacturing program postgraduate program for executives is a game changer in the field of higher education in our country and the proof is about to emerge very very shortly in just a couple of years more. Thank you.